Um, welcome back to I Got Something to Say. I hope my finger don't get in the shot. <laughs> I'm coming out with my droid phone. Oh, and, and thank you for allowing me to come in front of your eyes. Um, wow, take a look at this neighborhood, man. It's a nice neighborhood. This neighborhood reminds me of any other. I've lived in a couple of different cities, lived in Nashville. I share my home with the ATA. I share my home with Atlanta. Um, but this is only a two-minute walk from, from my the house where I grew up. I want, I want y'all to look at this. I re- look at this part. Look, it's, it's nice. Got a track. Um, I remember what this park was before um, they renewed it and what they call bringing it back to life. Um, right here, this is a this is a group home for those who who, who just need some help with with, with ch- challenging living. I remember this was all woods. I remember that this playground right here was not here. There was everything was iron. You used to cut yourself on the on the on the on the swing sometimes. The 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 tennis court the tennis court did not work at all. <laughs> and the basketball court, let's just forget about that cuz I mean if the rim didn't come down, you knew something was wrong. <laughs> um I laugh and I joke. I guess that's all you can do at this day and age because, man, there's so much that it went on. I remember growing up, coming to this park, wanting to come with my brother. You know, I'm the youngest. I just remember having a good time. You didn't have to worry about so much. Same thing you had to worry about this day and age. Sorry, I'm the fan of the shot. Same thing that you have to worry about this day and age. You have to worry about, you know, you know, if your kid's going to make it back home, uh, you know, who they run around with, you know, is everything going to be all right? Just, just living. Just like anything else. But something's on the rise. You know that Stephon Carter, accused killer, Allegedly, and I'm going to keep saying the word allegedly because that's between God and the jury, allegedly shot Scotty Richardson. But not only a month after that, two and just a couple of weeks ago, another one died. Another officer. Look at that. Sandy Rogers. Now, Miss Sandra Rogers only lived one street over from my house. I live on this is Abbeville, this is Abbeville Avenue. This this skitter section right here, that's Abbeville Avenue. This is only two minutes from my house. Two officers killed, line of duty, shot dead. You know someone gonna have to die on this, right? Why do I say that? Because this is two capital offenses. Now, this young man that killed or supposedly killed Sandra Rogers, I got to say allegedly because the jury and God still out on him. But he got mental health issues, saying that he just came out the came out the the, the, the institution. I don't, I don't know about that. I haven't done the research on I haven't done the research on that. Um. But as usual, my heart goes out to everything and everybody that's been affected by this. But you know, here's my thing. I wrote a book. I wrote a book called Perspective, and it deals with Stephon Carter. Now everybody's comparing the two, and you know, and you know who I really feel. Before I even get in there, you know who I really feel for. I feel for this young black uh, men. Roaming these streets because it's going to be open season. Oh, yeah. Make no mistake. 
you can't have two black men kill supposedly two officers and not feel no retribution from somebody. You don't think you don't think so? I'm already getting I'm already in your head. I didn't mean to be there. All I'm just trying to give is a perspective. That, that, I mean, that's who I really feel for because you know, and everybody agreed that they're gonna do some cracking down. You know, two capital, two capital offenses, two death penalty offenses happened. You don't think they're gonna crack down on these young black men strolling these streets now? Okay, let me throw something else at you. Why couldn't Stephon Carter be and it have a, a mind state that he didn't know right from wrong at the time as well if that was the case? He didn't want to go back to jail. By all God's and all his means, he did not want to go back to jail. He, he has been heard, observed saying that over and over. This young man just came out of a mental institution. So you know he don't know right from wrong that still killed, killed Sandy Rogers. You know he don't know right, know right from wrong. Um, but do you think, and but just by, and it's just by funny means, solicit a strong firm and handling that case too. That's just funny, funny. Um, you don't think that he gonna think he believes that he gonna have justice in the best interest of what's going on? Oh no. He going to have legacy and padding of his career in his best interest. That's just what I believe. That's just me. I can't talk from no one else. It's funny how they got a solicitor that's not even in our, count, in our damn county. That's in, he was in Edgefield County. Maybe they moved him and shifted him over. I don't know. You know, funny that he, you know, he got a whole legacy surrounding the state. And these two, and it's going to be the first... Capital, not just once, but twice, capital murder charge going up for the death penalty, and I don't know, over you know, close to over a decade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is, uh, we just passed this hilltop. We just passed the street, which that which this nice woman lived on. It's sad, it's sad to see what happened. Um, as usual, just like with Scotty Richardson family, my heart goes out. Sandra Rogers and her, and her family. I hope there's enough justice in everybody's heart for everybody. Um, the thing that I'm scared about is that one case is going to influence the other. You don't think that this makes tensions rise. Um, you don't think that after I put up a book, a book trying to show the human and fragile side of Stephon Carter. Because there are some things that you, we got we got to explore. You don't think that this made tension, this next murder of the same circumstance made tensions rise? Oh yeah, it made lots of tensions rise. Why do you think I got a phone call telling me to stop what I'm doing? That's something different. But we're gonna get into something that a little bit later. All I'm saying is, see how far it didn't take that long to walk from the park to my house already here. So all I'm saying is. Just understand perspective. Don't let your perception cloud your, 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 your true judgment. You know, I mean, one case does not affect the other. Don't let your emotions overtake your sense of clarity, please. We still got, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you, you know, the, the, the solicitor's office is going to make sure one of these boys die. It's got to. Public public demand maybe? I don't know. But I said what I had to say.